Hello, 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 divas, dolls, and diamonds. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Femininity with Mama Gail. Today, Mama Gail just want to have a conversation about being true to you. And what I mean by being true to you is know your identity. You feminine, male or female. Femininity does not discriminate. And if you are gay, straight, bi, trans, whatever. If you are feminine, walking in feminine confidence, walking in your identity, knowing who you are, who you have decided to be, comfortable in your own skin, you are not focused on what mama, daddy, siblings, society, the church, the world think about you. You are unstoppable. And I mean this with all my heart and soul. I have learned that being comfortable in my own skin and not worried about who is judging me when they have no heaven and no hell to put me in, who is looking at me a certain way when they do absolutely nothing for me, contribute nothing into my life, but I'm going to be bothered by the fact that you have something to say about Mama Gail. Oh no, we don't do that, honey. And even if you were, contributing anything to my life that does not give you the right to identify or pass judgment or make me be who you want me to be instead of loving me for who I am. Identity. Make the decision to be who you are. Love who you are. Appreciate who you are and who you have become. As long as you're worried about people's opinion, people's approval, you are always going to be stressed, worried. You are always going to be fearful. You are always going to be defensive and combative because you are not comfortable in who you are. One of our superpowers as feminine, young men, young women, old men, old women, is silence. And the reason why I'm speaking on silence is because when somebody triggers, calls you anything but a child of God, and you are not comfortable and who you are, silence is your superpower. Keep your mouth shut and keep moving, strutting in stride, pressing forward, becoming who you are, being comfortable in your skin, knowing who you are and who you have decided to be. Knowing that you are unstoppable, knowing that you are unmovable. Mama Gail wants to share a little bit, a story with you. Growing up, I grew up in the projects. And growing up in the 70s and the 80s, and I know some of y'all saying, ah, I wasn't even born. But yes, Mama Gail was born. Mama Gail grew up in the projects, and there were gentlemen who were sweet, gay, feminine. And I was always intrigued by these men who were dressed up and they would dress up as drag queens and impersonate Diana Ross and Patti LaBelle and great singers of the day. They would dress up in drag and have these competitions and I was always drawn and intrigued and I had no reason why some of them were very flamboyant 
And some of them were very laid back, reserved, feminine, young men. And I wasn't caught off guard or surprised by men dressing up as women or judgmental in any kind of way. But I was intrigued because there was something so ladylike about these young men that I did not see in the women around me. Very few women were feminine. A lot of women were in their masculine energy and I grew up thinking I had to be a strong power to the people. Black woman. I had to be feminine. I mean masculine, I'm sorry. And stern and powerful. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's who you choose to be. But all of that masculine energy kept me tense. It kept me in fear. It kept me worried about what other people thought about me. It kept me in judgment. It kept me thinking like, oh, I gotta do this right. I have to please this person. I have to wear this. Oh, I can't wear that because I, if I wear that, people are gonna think this about me. But seeing these feminine gentlemen taught me something at a very young age and as I grew older I began to put two and two together in my 40s I had to look back at Miss Nicole Paris Kame Cashmere these were the names that they get the, that they had given to themselves back in the day I still remember they used to say doll face Gag me with a spoon. I will gag you with a spoon. This, that, and the other. The little things that they said in the 70s and in the 80s. But my point is the feminine energy, the way that they carry themselves as men portraying to be women. Men who were confident in their identity. If you call Miss Nicole Alan the Fag, she was not threatened, intimidated, or wanting to fight you because you called her Alan or a fag. Because that feminine energy was so powerful that she was able to overlook what you said and wasn't worried about why you said it or who said it. And I began to look back on these things of how their attitude was and all along I had been singing femininity in men, but very seldomly seeing femininity in young, older, any type of women, except first ladies who were in church. Most of them were in feminine energy. And I noticed that a lot of the men, masculine men, who had masculine wives, girlfriends, were sneaking and creeping with the feminine men. Paris, Portia, Kim A. They were getting more men, masculine men, than the masculine woman they had at home. Now, a lot of you people going to say, oh my God, I'm so appalled that you would say that and make this video. But this is my truth. I grew up around this whole scene when AIDS first came out and all of that stuff. And the gay community was being judged and 
it was spread by. But anywho, let me stay on topic. But the men, the masculine men, were creeping, sneaking, seeing the feminine men. Now, like I said, femininity didn't really click for me until I got in my 40s, but my mind went back to this is what femininity is. My first example of femininity was in feminine men. Confident. Knew their identity. Was not shaken by your comment, your snare, your snide, your thoughts, your opinions. But they were who they were, and nothing was going to shake, break, or snap, snatch them from being who they had decided to be. So I come today talking about femininity from the perspective of knowing your identity. It doesn't matter who you used to be. Feminine young woman, if you chose to change and become who you are and your friends don't like the new you because you're not operating in your masculine energy, you're no longer attracted to doing the masculine things, you want a masculine man in your life, then you continue to stand in who you have decided to be. Feminine Young man, if this is the choice that you have made, whom you have chose to be, then you be who you are, not seeking to please anybody else, but who you have decided to be. Comfortable in who you are, who you have chosen and decided to be, and I keep hitting that decided because the decision is yours, not your parents, not your siblings, not society. Be who you are. Be comfortable in who you are. Be satisfied in who you are. Be true to you, true to who you are, and walk in who you are. Mama Gal does not judge or discriminate. And don't you allow my daughter, my son, anyone else to judge you, to discriminate, to treat you. And even if they do treat you, don't allow it to affect you to where it causes you to be messed up in your mind. Make the decision to be who you are. Confident, bold, and allowing nothing to move, shake, or break you. This is Femininity with Mama Gail. Have a blessed and prosperous day.